In this video, you'll find out if Plymouth Rock is the right auto insurance carrier for you. Hi, I'm John Calvin, a client success manager here at Barry Insurance. I've been in the insurance industry for 17 years since the year 2005. We started working with Plymouth Rock back, uh, it was either April or May of 2020, so right actually at the beginning of the pandemic, which was of course a very stressful time for everyone, um, but they've been an excellent carrier for us for the past a little over two years. Uh, very competitive and they have an excellent product, so it was certainly a great addition for us. In this video, we'll be going through an overview of an actual Plymouth Rock auto policy. And I'll also be giving some of my own personal takeaways on Plymouth Rock as an insurance agent. Alright, so just like I did in the prior life insurance video, uh, here in front of me I have a personal auto policy with Plymouth Rock for one of my clients. So I have in front of me uh, just the declarations pages for this policy. There are several other pages, um, but these two pages here, the declarations pages, they outline really all the pertinent information for the policy, the, the name and, uh, named insured, the household operators, discounts, coverage limits, deductibles. So this is really everything that you would need to see um, as the policy owner. Uh, the rest of the pages, they have kind of some legal language on them and things like that, but all the necessary details you'll find in these first two pages. On the first page here, uh, we have the policy number and the policy dates at the top, as well as the name of the insured, and it has our contact information as well as the agent. Um, in the middle of this page, it lists the vehicle, the year, make, and model, as well as the VIN. Below that, it has the operators, the household members that are listed on the policy, and then below that, it lists out uh, discounts that are applied to the policy. Plymouth Rock um, offers several discounts, like most companies, uh, including an advanced shopper discount. So if you place coverage a certain uh, number of days in advance, you get a discount for that. There's also, of course, the credit for uh, having your homeowners with Plymouth Rock. Um, there's a discount for having a AAA membership. And if you have an umbrella policy, which this client of mine does, uh, you also get a discount for that. On the second page is where it lists out the coverage details. So I'll quickly go through uh, the different coverages on an auto policy and explain them a little bit. So the first numbers one through four are what are called compulsory uh, coverages. Those are required in Massachusetts. Um, part one is your bodily injury to others, and the limit they give you is 20,000 per person, 40,000 per accident. Again, that's compulsory in mass, you can't go below that. But what we do is we add optional bodily injury to others, which is part five, and that supersedes part one, and it allows you to carry much higher limits. So in this case, what we do is 250,000 per person, 500,000 per accident to give you a much higher level of coverage and certainly protect you more in case you were to cause injury to another party. Um, part two, personal injury protection. So that gives you some coverage if you're in an accident and sustain injuries. Um, and it helps with loss of use or lost wages as well if that applies if you're injured and can't perform uh, certain aspects of your occupation and you have lost wages. Um, it would also, if need be, hopefully it doesn't, but it would also contribute toward funeral expenses as well. Um, part three is your bodily injury caused by an uninsured auto. So if you're in an accident that is not your fault and the at-fault party does not have insurance, uh, then you can go to your policy for damages that may be paid out to you because of your injuries. The corresponding coverage to part three is actually part 12, which is underinsured motorist coverage. It works very similarly. Uh, the only difference is it applies if the other party has insurance but doesn't have enough to cover the damages that you would be awarded. Then you can go to your policy just like you would if the person had no insurance. Um, part four is damage to others' property. So if you are at fault and you hit someone else's car or you drive into a mailbox or a guardrail or a building or you know, telephone pole, whatever it is that you cause damage to, um, that is where the coverage would come out of. And we always write 250000 on an auto policy to make sure you have a high level of coverage there. Um, 
Part six, medical payments. That um, can be for medical bills that you may sustain as the result of an accident. Um, it is an optional coverage. You certainly don't have to carry it. Some people do, some people don't, but it can give you a little extra on the medical side. So part seven is your collision coverage. Uh, this is where you go to on your policy if you crack up your car and you need to get it fixed. Um, this policy has a $1,000 deductible, but that is waived if you are not at fault, as long as you can identify the other party. Uh, if it's a hit and run, even if that's not your fault, if you can't identify the other party, then your deductible would still apply. Uh, part eight is limited collision. You rarely, if ever, see this on a policy. Basically, it is collision coverage, but it would only apply if you are less than 50% at fault and you can identify the at-fault party. Um, so again, you almost never see this. Typically, someone either has full collision coverage or they don't have collision at all. Perhaps if it's an older vehicle, then they don't feel it's worth having. Uh, part nine is your comprehensive. So this is other than collision. This is fire, theft, vandalism, flood. And this is also where your glass coverage comes from. Uh, in Massachusetts, there is no glass deductible. So if you need a windshield or window replaced, um, that is uh, done with no out-of-pocket cost to you. For some reason, comprehensive is also where uh, collisions with animals fall under. Um, this happened recently to my wife uh, and it ended up being a comprehensive claim. So if you hit an animal, for some reason that's under comprehensive as well. Part 10 is your substitute transportation. It's also known as rental reimbursement. So if you have a claim and your vehicle is out of commission for a period of time, uh, your policy, if you have this coverage, it will provide a certain amount of reimbursement towards the cost of a rental car. Uh, this policy has $30 a day for up to $900. That's a pretty typical amount that you'll see uh, nowadays. And again, it's optional. You don't have to carry it, but certainly nice to have, especially if you do have a claim and need to rent a car. Uh, part 11 is towing and labor, so it will essentially reimburse you a certain amount if you have to be towed or if you have to have someone come out and do a roadside repair uh, to get your vehicle moving again. Uh, this coverage also is optional if you have AAA or some other motor club membership. It doesn't really make sense to have it because it would be redundant, um, but it is available. And the last coverage there, I mentioned part 12, underinsured motorists, um, that ties in with your uninsured motorist. And there's one other item listed here, it's loan or lease gap coverage, which if your vehicle is typically if it's five model years uh, or newer, you can carry this coverage to help prevent you and uh, protect you in the event of a total loss. It would make sure you can satisfy whatever's left on your loan. Uh, so that is a quick overview of an auto policy with Plymouth Rock. So here are some of my thoughts on the Plymouth Rock Auto policy that we just uh, discussed. Uh, since we brought them on, Plymouth Rock has been very competitive, certainly on the auto side, uh, as well as the homeowners, um, definitely on the auto side. Uh, this policy that we just reviewed has a very high level of coverage, um, and it comes in at just a little over $500 a year for one vehicle, uh, which is very, very competitive based on uh, the location and the type of vehicle that's listed on here. Um, so they're certainly competitive from a premium standpoint. They have an excellent product. Uh, they're easy to work with, uh, and they've just been a company that's that's been really good for us since they came aboard a couple years ago. So Plymouth Rock offers a number of discounts on their auto policy, uh, one of which is the advanced shopper discount, which is great. Uh, as long as you uh, place coverage seven days or more in advance, you get a discount for that. Um, which is certainly nice. Not every company does that. Um, they also offer significant discounts if you have your homeowner's coverage with Plymouth Rock and if you have a personal umbrella policy, which we typically will recommend, uh, then you get an additional discount on the auto as well. So that helps to offset some of the costs of that umbrella policy. Um, it also, as I mentioned, there is a discount if you have a membership with AAA or some other type of auto club. Uh, there's discounts for e-customers, so as most folks do nowadays, as long as you 
are okay receiving everything via email, then there is a discount for that. So there's a number of ways you can take advantage of discounts and bring your premium down even further. Yeah, so as with any auto policy we write, we're always going to write excellent coverage limits. We never cut corners or write substandard limits just to save somebody money. It's not fair to them and it's not the right way to do things. Uh, but this policy with the high liability limits and the deductibles that are listed on here, um, having substitute transportation coverage, overall the cost is very, very reasonable. In this particular case, out of all the companies we work with, Plymouth Rock was uh, the most competitive by uh, a noticeable margin. So it's certainly a very fair premium for the coverage provided here. By now, you should know if Plymouth Rock would be the right auto insurance carrier for you. If you'd like to learn more, please watch this video. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you next time.